in this example, we are required to find the magnitude of F for which the blocks A and B will remain at rest with respect to the bigger block. Here in the system, it is shown that there is a bigger block of mass 4M on which two blocks of masses M and 2M are supported and they are also connected by a string which is passing over a pulley attached to the bigger block. And we are applying an external force F onto the bigger block. As it is given that A and B are not moving with respect to this, they are at rest on this bigger block. So we can say that all blocks are moving together toward right with an acceleration A. So here we can directly write the acceleration, the common acceleration of blocks. This can directly be written as F upon 7M. Here in solution we can directly state as they are moving together, the total mass of the system is 7M and they are moving together, no internal sliding occurs. That means the total force is equal to 7M into A. That means the common acceleration can be written as F by 7M. Now in this situation, if we draw the free body diagram of these two blocks, we can see that this block B is experiencing its weight 2 mg in downward direction. A tension will act on it in upward direction. Obviously, due to the push of this 4m, a normal reaction will act on B and a similar normal reaction will be applied by B on this mass 4m. So, if we draw the free body diagram of B, we can see in this situation, it will be experiencing a force 2mg in downward direction. A tension will act on it in upward direction and a normal reaction will act on it toward right. But if we consider this free body diagram with respect to this 4M or in the reference frame of 4M, if we are going to observe this block B, then B will appear to be experiencing a pseudo force in backward direction because this 4M is an accelerated reference frame. So the pseudo force we have already studied it experience a force in the direction opposite to the direction of acceleration of reference and its value will be mass of body into acceleration of reference frame. So, it must be 2MA. Now, if we observe this block from this 4M body, it appears to be at rest. So, if it is at rest, all these forces must be balanced. In this situation, we can write the equation for this block B as T is equals to 2MG and we can write N is equals to 2MA. Similarly, if we draw the free body diagram of this block A, we can see block A will be experiencing its weight mg in downward direction and see a normal reaction N1 would be acting on it due to the bigger block. So, it will experience N1 in upward direction. A tension T will be applied on it due to this string. And if we observe this A with respect to this 4M, then it will also appear to be experiencing a pseudo force in backward direction that is MA. We can also write precisely that this free body diagram of A with respect to 4M. And this is the free body diagram of B also with respect to 4M. Now again, if we observe from 4M as they are moving together with 4M, as seen from 4M, this also appeared to be at rest. If it is appearing to be at rest, if it appears to be at rest, we can simply state in this situation, we write T is equals to MA and N1 is equals to MG. Now from these equations, we can simply state as T is 2 MG and T is also MA. We can equate the two, it will give us MA is equals to 2 MG. M gets cancelled out and the value of A is 2G. If we put the value of A equal to 2G over here, we can see from this equation the value of force we are getting is 7M multiplied by 2G. It will be 14MG. This will be the answer to our problem that 14MG external force is required to be applied on 4M if we wish A and B not to move with respect to 4M.